is your Storm Track 5 weather forecast. Now, meteorologist Ricky Matthews. All right, everyone, certainly not feeling like Christmas Eve outside with the temperatures today that climbed up into the 60 degree range near 70 in spots this afternoon. Let's check out your almanac for today and show you what occurred at the Tri-Cities Airport. 68 was our high temperature this this afternoon. Our morning temperature 58 degrees. That's way above our average of 26 or so record for today. Negative three set back in 1989. Nowhere close to that today. Did see a lot of rainfall this morning, almost 1.5 inches, 1.42 officially at the airport. That puts us for the month at 4.12 inches, about an inch and a half above normal for the year, around three inches above normal. Sunset tonight was at 519 p.m. You'll see that on our time lapse here from UVA Wise. The temperature stayed steady really throughout the day. UVA Wise as we went into the afternoon and a pretty nice sunset set up there at UVA Wise. Another shot right now from the Math and Computer Science Building out at the campus of UVA Wise, 61 degrees. South southeast wind at three miles per hour. A live look as well from the north state of Franklin and Johnson City, Tennessee. A few folks out and about. Check out this time lapse though, because watch the creek near Bristol Motor Speedway. Watch how it rose throughout the day and is now starting to recede as we go into the evening hours with temperatures that are sitting at 63 degrees in the Tri Cities and around 63 in Avenue Elizabethan as well and 62 in Marion. Now, our forecast for tonight temperatures will drop down into the middle to upper 50s for overnight lows, way above average, mostly cloudy skies, mild, a little bit of patchy fog possible as well, especially as we go later into the evening and overnight hours as that rain that we had around today acts as a really a boundary. We have a lot of moist air around for the evening and overnight hours for some fog to form in. 57 for an overnight low in Abingdon, Marion as well, 56 in Lebanon, how about 57 for Grundy? We'll say 57 for the Tri Cities, 58 in Elizabethan, and around 59 for Greenville tonight. As you go into tomorrow, though, Christmas Day, look at this 67 degrees for Lebanon, 68 for the Tri Cities, and 70 degrees in Greenville on Christmas Day. Hard to believe it's December 25th. It feels like it should be May 25th instead. Now, we are going to have some changes, though, in the weather tomorrow, and something I want you to remain alert for, because while it's Christmas Day, a lot of people will be spending time with their family, maybe are disconnected from the weather world and anything that may be going on outside. We are going to have some potentially dangerous weather move in tomorrow in terms of flooding and maybe even a few isolated severe thunderstorms. Now, max alert radar sweeping clear right now, but notice down to our south, a lot of moisture across the Atlanta area, Georgia, Alabama, South Carolina, a big flood, flash flood warning in effect for portions of southeast Alabama. So if you're traveling tonight and heading south, be alert for that rainfall because you're going to run into it and you could run into a little bit of flooding as well. As we go through the, the overnight hours, our severe threat tracker only in the medium alert level, but I'm going to raise it into the medium to maybe a little bit higher than medium alert level for Christmas because of those periods of heavy rainfall and some storms. The biggest danger from anything will be some flooding. So as we alert you to severe weather danger, we want you to know that a flood watch is in effect for all of our viewing area through Saturday morning. The biggest threat coming during the day on Friday, lessening as we go into Saturday. The reason why, note tomorrow, stalled frontal boundary right across our region, southerly flow helping to usher in moisture and warmer air for Saturday, and excuse me, Friday. And as we go into Saturday, note as the front lifts north, our rain chances go down. Some better weather moves in for the weekend, but before that, we're gonna have to deal with the rain at times. Future track timing this all out for you. 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, bands of moderate to heavy rainfall moving through into the afternoons when we'll see our heaviest rainfall. Some of those could be thunderstorms, could see some strong winds with one or two of those. And as we go later into the evening, that starts to push out and we get some nicer weather moving in for Friday night and into Saturday and during the day on Saturday. Now, how much rainfall overall? We're thinking anywhere from about one to maybe three inches in spots. Our future track rainfall is shooting out one to two inches for Avenue. The Tri-Cities, two to three inches for Rogersville. So keep that in mind. Keep this in mind tomorrow. It only will take an inch to an inch and a half of rain in one hour to cause some flash flooding or 1.25 inches to 1.75 inches in three hours to cause some flash flooding. So make sure you keep an eye to the sky tomorrow and just watch, especially if you're traveling tomorrow to maybe someone else's house. Make sure you turn around. Don't drown if you encounter any flooded roads. Now, as we go into the weekend, Rain chances go down. Still could see an isolated storm Saturday or Sunday. Temperatures staying around 70 degrees, 63 for Monday, 62 on Tuesday with another shot for some showers and storms moving in, 58 on Wednesday, and around 50 degrees as we head into Thursday. And we do continue to track Santa this evening, Julie. He was just spotted in Paris, France, heading to London, England next. We'll continue to bring you updates on air and on Facebook throughout the evening of where he's heading. He's going to have to keep taking his red jacket on and off, <laughs> on and off as he goes through the region. He is. You know, it's cooler in the west, so as he heads towards Colorado and California tonight, he's going to need that coat in here. He needs some sandals instead. Push up his sleeve. Yep. All right. Thanks so much, Ricky.